Welcome to Hymns at the Old Family Piano. I have a story to tell. In 1978, I believe, we were living in Anchorage, Alaska, my family and I, and um, my husband and my, my two children, because at that time we only had the two. Our youngest was 18 months old, and we were living in a little tiny dungeon basement apartment uh, with her and our son, uh, just uh, four years older than her. And um, my husband was working for a Christian radio station in Anchorage, and they had hosted a group, a concert, to come to Anchorage and share in music. And that group was um, Buck and Dottie Rambo. And um, they came, but unfortunately there had been a mix-up in who and what and where was going to take care of their meals. And so I offered, I don't know why to this day I did that, but I offered that they could come to our home and I would fix sourdough pancakes for breakfast so they could get a good Alaskan breakfast while they were there. And I remember that morning standing at the sink waiting for their arrival. The table was crammed into the little tiny area we had and would barely accommodate all of us there, but it, it would work. And I was busy preparing and nervous, nervous, nervous. And I asked the Lord, I said, God, would you just please help them to feel at home here? This is a not good place, but not fancy. It's not roomy, but could you just let them feel at home while they're here? So they came and... Um, and I remember <laughs> Dottie feeding my daughter Angie sourdough pancakes while she sat in her, Angie sat in her high chair and getting all sticky because she was feeding my daughter sticky pancakes with syrup on them. And she seemed very relaxed and not at all concerned about that. And a lot of laughter around the table and a lot of talking and sharing and and it was wonderful. And then <clears throat> they went over and I remember her sitting down on her raggedy old couch that really wasn't all that comfortable. And she's sitting, you know, with her, her feet up on the, on the couch and her uh, tucked under her knees. And she's got a styrofoam cup of coffee in her hand because I didn't have enough cups to be able to, you know, give them coffee in a real cup. And, um, I remember her turning to her, her piano player and saying, David, go, go, play let's do let's do germs germs my invisible dog she had written a musical called down by the creek bank and this was one of the songs and my son matthew had heard it angie had two although still young but they had heard it so david made his way to the this piano <laughs> this exact piano and sat down and he began to play and there she sat on our couch with her styrofoam cup of coffee and and her legs drawn up and she began to sing about germs, the invisible dog. And we all loved it. It was wonderful. We got all done and came time for them to leave. And they were walking out the door and she turned to me and she hugged me. And she said, darling, I don't know when I've ever felt so at home. And deep inside of me, I was thanking God for that answer to prayer. We went to the concert that night and it was wonderful. God's music always is, and especially when it's done by someone who has written songs that are straight from the heart and depict what our lives are really all about. And that's that was Dottie Rambo. And in the concert, she decided to dedicate a song to Rich and I. And it's the song I'm going to sing for you today. I will glory in the cross. I've thought often about that cross as I've spent some time in my life not bowing at the cross or before the Lord, but walking away. And I realized that I can't glory in anything except his love for us that put him on that cross, his death, his burial, and then his resurrection 
bringing us new life and eternity to spend with him. I can't boast of any works. I can't tell of good deeds because I've done nothing that could merit the grace that he has given to me. So instead, I will just praise him for the cross. I will glory in the cross and I will not weep for the cross that he bore. Instead, I will glory in the cross.
Thank you for stopping by today. I pray that your life also finds glory in the cross of Jesus Christ.